I have here, it might be kind of small for you, it's a rectifier diode. And a rectifier diode simply takes an AC current and converts it to a direct current. It's a pulsating direct current, but it is a direct current. And I have the same kind of diode on the board here. You'll, you'll be able to see it right here. And uh, up on the screen now, you should get a pop-up drawing of pretty much what I have on the board. I just want to talk briefly about it. So I have a 24 volt transformer here and you can see it on the, on the board also. And then it goes to a terminal board and I'm supplying the diode with 24 volts and then you can see on the drawing where I'm going to connect a power quality meter. And later I will also connect another meter just to see what it looks like too. And uh, you'll see what happens when we put the diode in place. And the real simple question is, what happens when you place a rectifier diode in an AC circuit? Well, it makes it into DC, like I was saying, of a pulsating kind. And you can see I have AC wave, an AC waveform up on top and what you will expect to see on a DC uh, voltage output down below. And uh, here in a moment, I'm going to go off screen. We'll set this up and I'll show you exactly how that works. I've got the power quality meter set up and I also have our, our board energized. And what you will discover is I, I think our our transformer is rated for 24 volts nominal, but we usually are somewhere around 28 unloaded, so it might be a little higher. But I first wanted to take a, a, a look at the sine wave on the AC side. And you can see we've got a good sine wave and we're showing 28.25 volts, 28.25. And now what I'm gonna do is I'll move down and we'll read right off of our diode and see what happens. And we should expect to see only half the sine wave, and we should see half the voltage also because we're only getting half the sine wave. And so there you go. Now we have our sine wave is only on the bottom. We have blocked the top half, and you can see we are at 19.71 volts, uh, which is, is considerably less. And so we have converted this to a DC pulsating signal. And if I swap the leads, you'll see I'll just swap where the... the uh, half of the sine wave appears. It'll appear on the top, on the positive side. Now, if I reverse the leads. It's really pretty simple, pretty basic. It's all solid state, and it, it simply blocks one half of the sine wave. And we have now made that into a DC pulsating circuit. The last thing we'll do is take a look at this with a Fluke 117 meter. And I'm going to read the transformer first, so I have it set for AC voltage. And the polarity doesn't matter on that, so I take a measurement. And you can see I get 28.2 volts AC. Uh, this is actually a DC on the, the diode. If I leave it set for AC and try to take a measurement, it gives me a measurement, but it gives me 12, like 11 volts. If I reverse my leads, it does the same thing. That's actually not completely accurate. It's actually a DC voltage measurement. So if I switch to DC voltage, I should get a more accurate measurement. And it gives me 16 instead of 12, which is more accurate. So, uh, but it does show you that you, you are looking at a DC impulse. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out the links we have below. Come back for new videos. We should be adding content each week. And finally, visit the Taking Measure website.